Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sheep Kids Sheared Podcast, home of people, politics, and popular culture. I am your host, Austin Creed, and I want to welcome you into the show. So this show is going to be a little more after-hours type of show today. You know, normally during the day we do a family show. And I'm not telling you I'm going to get morbid or, you know, say dirty things or do dirty things for effect. But this conversation can get a little bit messy because I don't want to be, I don't want to beat around the bush. All right. I don't want to sit here and use weird analogies and play, you know, games and whatnot. No, no, we're going to really break this crap down. All right. We're going to break this shit down and we're going to have a really frank conversation today. Because, you know, I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand it. If I have to go on to YouTube or X or TikTok and I have to see one more goofy-ass dude sitting in his car talking about how, hey, you know, Shun, if I if you put down this game, Shun, then you're going to be able to get all this free sex, Shun. And you're going to get out here, you're going to run and get Rizzer up, son, and you're going to be out here and get your get your knob slobbed on, Shun, and I'm going to teach you how to ro- mack down these hoes, Shun. If I gotta hear one more goofy ass simp motherfucker tell me, oh, yeah, just run some game. Yeah, man, you can get it for free, dude. Yeah, I'm out here in these streets and, you know, girls pay me, man. And I'm out here getting on knocking down these hoes and they love me. First of all, if there is any woman paying you, she already can have her own orbit. She got she got her own gravitational pull. That's how fat she is. That's number one. And number two, I don't know who popularized this idea that sex is free. Sex is never free. I I don't know who the hell was out here putting forward this idea. I know it precedes me, that's for sure. But here's what I don't get. You know, when I was a kid, not a kid, but I was a teenager, and I I first started to go through puberty and whatnot, the very mention of the word sex, I was like, oh, 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 word? Oh, man, yeah, man, I want to do it so bad, and I want, you know, I want, I'm craving it, I gotta have it right now. That's the testosterone in you. As younger dudes, that's just your cross you're gonna carry for years to come, but eventually you'll reach a point where it'll start to slow down. But I want to dis... And I'm not the only one who's disproven this myth. But apparently we ain't talking loud enough because I keep hearing this goofy logic from these stupid morons who are out here telling young dudes that sex can be free if you spit the right game, riz her up the right way, your sex can be free. Sex is power for women. In case you didn't know that, women aren't stupid. I don't understand where this idea came from, from these game guys, that women are so dumb that if you talk to them a certain way, you'll get free sex. No, my friends, that is false. It's so false, in fact, I want to read you something from Robert Greene, who is the author of 40 Laws of Power. Now, I'm going to give you a little disclaimer here. I believe his book was very wise and insightful, and I go into depth in Biblical Bachelor about this idea of free sex and how it's a myth. And, in fact, in your pursuit of quote-unquote free sex, you'll end up paying the most. But I want to I want to quote you of this. Law 40 of the 48 Laws of Power states the following. Despise, not hold this taste despise the free lunch don't accept things that people give you for free because people will think they have power over you if you accept what they provided to you quote for free there's no such thing as for free lunch someone's paying and people will say that oh because i didn't pay her a benjamin up front or because I didn't give her money, I got it for free. No. No, stupid. Hey, hey, moron. Hey, moron, idiot. That's not how it works. There is this idea that I firmly believe in. There are multiple ways of paying. You can pay with your time, 
You can play with your energy, your attention, or your money. You can bring it down to the acronym TEAM if you want. You gotta be on your own team and guard your time, your energy, your attention, and your money. Your time is your most valuable asset. That's why I put it first. Then there's energy. People don't understand that in your sack, you know, people talk about semen retention for a reason. Because there's power. There's power in your sack. There is power in your semen. You might explain something to you that maybe your father didn't do, as my father didn't explain it to me. You know why women have a period every month? Do you know why they bleed like that? Because their egg dies. Because it wasn't given life by you. Yes, that's correct. You carry life in your sack. And you're the one who gives her life. Otherwise, she has a dead womb with nothing in it. And then you want to sit here and tell me that the power to give life is free? That's the same idea as telling me that your brain is worthless. Your brain is the last unexplored continent on Earth. The most powerful engine of all time is within your own head, between your ears. And yet people will plant poisons in it all day long. Self-doubt, self-deprecation, self-humiliation, doubt. And then no wonder why all they reap is poison. And death. That is why. Now let's not get too far off track. When I mentioned sex again, I'll immediately get your attention. I know I went down a side road. But this idea of sex being free is so disgusting because it's not true your time your energy your attention and your money are exponentially valuable they're all assets that you have a limited amount of time you ever heard the spend time yeah you're giving your time away you don't have unlimited time you're not god even if you have a god complex you are not god you don't have immortality and if you do please hit me up on my Twitter page as she can shoot and slide in my DMs because I want to know your secret. Energy. You only have a certain amount of energy during the day. If you think you have an unlimited amount of energy because you could drink like 50, 11 cups of coffee, no, that's just bad for you. That doesn't give you unlimited energy. Your attention is an asset. Attention is currency for women. Why do you think they post thirst traps on the internet? Why do you think they're always hitting you up? Why do you think they're always playing games? Because they want your attention. I'll challenge you to do something right now. You don't text your girlfriend, your wife. You don't give them attention for a week. See how they respond. Now, I'm not telling you you have to do that. I'm just saying if you don't think of attention as an asset, take it away. I'll take it off the table and you'll see how quickly it becomes valuable to other people. And yet it's not valuable to you, even though it came from you. And then money's pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, people put value in money. There's no question about it. But this idea of free, let's say, hypothetically speaking, you find some skeezer, you know, a, a, th a complete hoe. You know, she should just let anybody hit. Probably had chlamydia 20 times. Probably got the herp derp and everything else imaginable. But let's pretend for a second that you, she lets you just come over to the crib, Smash, you know, hit them guts and then leave. Just because you didn't pay her does not mean that wasn't free. Does not mean that I was free, excuse me. No, it wasn't free. Number one, you busted a nut. That's paying with energy. You pay with time. You probably spent 30 minutes, an hour there, unless you're a, a five, you know, a, a five buck chuck, the, you know, five stroke special type sex. Even then, you still spend time. You gave her your attention. But you think because you don't have the M in the word team that you didn't give anything. Schmuck. Don't be such a schmendrick and listen to me for a second. You paid, sir. You paid. Think about it like this. Yeah, you might in your mind say, I got it for free. Let's pretend that that girl gets pregnant because you, your pullout game was weaker. You were a moron and didn't use protection. Guess what? 
she has a kid now. You're on the hook for child support for the next 18 years, maybe 20, depending on what state you live in. That's payment. Did you, did you pay then? You pay up front or you pay on a back end. Now, I'm not advocating for pay for play with money. That's against the law. Don't break the law. What I'm telling you is realize that you are paying so you can control the form of payment you give so that you don't end up paying on the back end. Because let's say you quote unquote get it for free from 40 chicks. And then on number 41, you knock her up. Guess what? You're going to pay for the last 40 girls on number 41 through 18 years of child support, drama, garbage, bullshit, you name it. All of it. That's payment, sir. That is payment. You ever you ever had sex with a woman and then you had to hang out with her for a long time afterwards? That's payment. You ever had to deal with anonymous bullshit that came out of nowhere unsolicited? That's payment. You ever have to bail her out or you know or she threatens to to leak some photos about you that's payment she ever show up at your workplace embarrassing you or trying to embarrass you online that's that's payment again i don't understand how people don't see this how is how do you not see what i'm saying to you i'm not telling you to boycott the whole system and and go full monk and and get an orange robe and go on a hill and meditate day and night. I'm not telling you and stop eating meat. If you want to do that, God bless you. But that's not the point of what I'm trying to make. I'm trying to tell you that sex is never free. You're always paying for it. Some forms of payment are very obvious. Other ones, they're not as obvious. But guess what? You still gonna pay, sir. Let's say, for example... You're feeling horny, right? It's 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 nine o'clock, and you know you gotta work tomorrow. You gotta work in the morning, but you horny, and, and and the girls hitting you up saying, "Hey, you know, I might want to come over, but ooh, you know, I don't know, I might, but like, I'm not sure, and like, I got work." I'm all you're like, "Oh yeah, baby, come over, yeah, baby, come over right now." And she's like, "Oh well, let me get in the shower, and then I'll come over, and why not?" You're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah baby, come over." And you wait till 9.30, 10, 10.30. And then, she, then she's like, all right, all right, I'm coming over, I'm coming over. And then at 11 o'clock, you know, you start talking, BSing, schmoozing. Maybe you put on a movie on Netflix, whatever. 11.30, you finally start having sex. By 12 o'clock, you're like, oh, thing, you know, oh, I finished up, I'm good. You look at the clock, it's 12.15. You're like, oh, shit, I got work at 6 a.m. Oh, shit. Oh, I got work at 9 o'clock. Damn. Oh, shit. I'm stuck now. Then you're trying to rush her out the door, you know, but don't, you don't want to just throw her out. You know, you're like, oh, I, you know, thanks for the sex, but I got work, blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And then you're like, okay, 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 you know, I'll text you, whatever, okay, bye. And then by the time you actually get her out the crib, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. And you're like, oh, man. Then you got to hop in the shower, unless you're a nasty boy, and you just hop back in bed, which is gross. It's 1 15, 1 30, you finally get to sleep. You wake up eight so seven thirty, eight o'clock, and you're like Oh man, oh I'm tired. Oh man, brother. Oh and then guess what? You didn't you ain't going you ain't waking up at six thirty to go to the gym before going to work that day, are you? Nope. Now and this isn't just for us, you know, non married dudes out here. If you think you're married and you ain't paying <laughs> You paying the biggest price out here. You bought this you bought this woman a house. You probably bought her a car. You probably paying for all her life expenses. And you probably still only getting it two or three times a week, if that. Probably less than that if you've been married over five to ten years. Oh yeah, don't think I don't know how the game works. How is that? What do you mean you ain't paying? Try not paying the mortgage. Try not paying her gas. And guess what? All of a sudden, your quote, free sex once or twice a month, once or twice a week, and it's going to go from two or one to a zero real quick. My friends, my, the whole point of this is not to 
make you feel bad. It's not to get you to feel uncomfortable. It's not to make you feel upset or resentful. No, no, no. That's not the point. The point is I want you to realize what the hell is going on so that you don't fall for the, oh, I'm going to get it for free. You're not getting it for free. In fact, the quote unquote free women out here, how many other dudes do you think got that crap for free? If you get an STI, that's payment, bro. That's called paying. You're paying up, you, you know, your, your wife's student loan debt or your joint student loan debt. That's payment, sir. Again, there's no such thing as free. You're always paying. Now, whether you pay the same amount as Chad and Tyrone, that's a difference. That's a whole different question. I never said that everybody pays equally. What I said is everybody pays. Everyone will pay at some point with some amount, whether it's your your time, your energy, your attention, or your money, you pay in with one, if not all, of those. Now, you need to be aware of this so that you can use it to your advantage, and you need to make sure you don't fall for the for the yucky to yuck that most people fall for when it comes to Oh, I'm just going to come over for a little bit. Oh, she really likes me. It's free. No, my friend. It might be on discount, but it ain't free. Hell no, it ain't free. Women are not dumb, man. I don't know where this idea came from that women are stupid. Some of them might be ditzy, sure, but they are not dumb. They have much better survival instincts than you. And if you think that they're just going to give their most valuable asset, their punani, away for free... <laughs> Yo, man, you fallen for the 40th law of power. They get in power over you. Guess what? The first couple times you get it, it might be on discount. You might get it on a fire sale. Guess what? Number five, suddenly she's like, ooh, you know, let's go on a real date. I want you to take me out on a real date. Or, hey, you know, I want us to, let's go get dinner. Or, oh, I want to go see this this opening show somewhere. Oh, oh, I want to go to the park or the museum or whatever. Guess what? Now you paying with your time, your money, and guess what? The price just went up. You think I'm making this up? No, 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 no. You know I'm right. That's why you're still listening to the show. And you're thinking to yourself, Austin, man, come on, dude. Why are you calling me out like this? What's the point? Have you not been paying attention? Clearly, you haven't been paying attention. The whole point is, I want you to know you're paying so that you realize what you lost. It's like paying with a credit card. Just because you didn't hand over cash and the, and you heard the ching ching on the cash register does not mean you didn't. Does not mean you got it for free. Paying on credit, that's not free. You will fall in debt, and eventually, you go off pay. So be aware of what you are doing out here or you're liable to get back paid and you go and be charged all that back payment that you have not paid. Be aware of what's going on. Focus on aftercare, all right? Don't be a complete jerk all the time. Be aware of what happens. Your actions have consequences, my friends. And sex is no different. In fact, it's on steroids. It's magnified. Be aware of what you're doing. Because if you think it's just happening in a vacuum, not going to affect you, not going to catch up to you, you're a fool. Please, protect your own back. Have your own back out here. Protect your head. Protect your neck. Do not let someone get to you like this. If it sounds too good to be true... It is. That's the bottom line. So please, my friends, watch yourself in the future. So, I know this is a little more of a graphic show, a little more, I use a little more language than I usually do, but, you know, nonetheless, 
I want, you know, God bless you. God bless your family. God bless America. Let's not be out here acting goofy. Let's be responsible out here. Take care of yourselves. I'm out of here. Have a great evening. And remember, sex is never free. Might be on discount potentially, but it's never free. And be aware of what people are trying to get out of you. Take care of yourselves. I'm out of here. Peace.